Hey guys, um, today I want to show you some cool programming tricks to address an 8x8 LED matrix. And for this program here, I'm going to use an Arduino Nano. And for the LEDs, I'm using uh, programmable LEDs WS2812. These LEDs have one data cable uh, that can address each individual uh, bit on, on the display. Now, my first attempt to control the LEDs was to create a variable with the 64 um, uh, numbers or digits uh, to address each individual LED on the matrix. But that was very uh, difficult to handle and did not seem to be uh, a good approach. So I thought um, I, create, I tried the same thing with a, a two-dimensional variable. And although the two-dimensional variable is much easier to read, it is still difficult to, uh, to handle this bit matrix, to change individual bits is not, uh, not so easy, and to call up uh, the routine that actually displays the image on uh, the matrix. So instead of using uh, a bit code here to set individual LEDs, I turned the, the bit code uh, into a decimal value. So for each bit code you can calculate the dis decimal value and then I created a program where you just enter eight decimal numbers and these numbers represent the image on uh, the uh, on the display. Now here's the program. The first thing uh, that we need to do is uh, we need to call up the Adafruit NeoPixel library. In other words you need to include that library into your Arduino libraries. Um, there are a number of tutorials on YouTube how to do this and where to get this so I'm not going into details here but anyway uh, install the library and call up the routines as shown here on the, on the display. Then we need one output pin which is the data pin to the LED matrix. In my case NeoPixel pin is 10. Uh, the number of NeoPixels in the matrix so 8x8 64 pixels and the brightness. I then have variables for the colors R, G and B. I have a variable I for a loop counter, a delay time a variable 500 milliseconds. And I have uh, data variables R0 to R7 which represent the row 0 to 7 on the display. Now in my setup there is nothing except for the command for a serial print which I used for testing so that is not required. And now let's have a look at the loop. In the loop, um, I am first clearing the matrix in a subroutine, uh, subroutine clear matrix. We will look at this later. And I set the color code for my image. And now I have the rows 0 to 7 with the decimal value of the bit code of each row. So that is all what you need in order to define the complete image on an 8x8 matrix just these eight uh, decimal numbers. Um, then I call a subroutine called image where I actually display uh, the image on, on the LED matrix. Further down I have the uh, eight uh, decimal values for the second image. Again, uh, it's the translation of the bit code for the display. This is followed by another call of the subroutine image where the LEDs are actually turned on. For the conversion of the bit code into a decimal number, you can use any website. There are many websites, just do a Google search. Uh, on these websites, typically you enter the binary code and you get the decimal code here shown. Back to the program. Um, these are the subroutines. There are two subroutines. One is called Clear Matrix. This is from the Adafruit uh, example uh, library or example code, uh, pretty standard. Although I have uh, here a reset for the colors, R, G, and B. Other, other than that, this is pretty standard. And this is the subroutine to call up the image. And what I'm doing here is I'm uh, reading every um, row of the image, row 0 to 7, and I'm doing here a bit read on the variable R0 to R7. So R0 to R7 contains my decimal value and bit read now reads every single bit out of this variable. And if the variable is one, so the bit is on, 
Uh, then I set the LED strip, um, I set the color code for the LED strip on. So every bit that is in, on in the, in the decimal code uh, will uh, turn on the LED. Once I've read all of the uh, bits uh, for the loop, I loop, um, then I set the brightness and the final command uh, show the strip. That's basically all what you need to do. And then at the end of the subroutine, I reset all of my variables so that I can call up any other, um, any other image. I also reset uh, the color codes again so that I can use different colors um, on, on the display and I can also mix colors. So to add colors is really quite simple. First is you call up your main um, character, which here is in row 0 to 7, the Space Invader in red. Now I want to add yellow eyes. So I set the variable red to 255, green to 255, green and red is yellow. And now I only need to select the single row where I want to change colors. So in this case, this is row 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. I need to set two bits. So the bit code from right to left, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 is equivalent to decimal 34. So I just call up this one line, R3 equals to uh, 34. Then I call up my image and I have my eyes displayed uh, on my uh, matrix. And in this way, you can add as many uh, colors, additional colors to your existing image uh, as you want. Now, the last thing is a delay uh, timer. This delay timer after the image call is the delay time between uh, displaying uh, the Space Invader with the arms down and the arms up. So, obviously, I do not have a delay time between my main character at the top, R0 to R7, uh, because I want to show this uh, Space Invader and the colored eyes in one go, so to speak. Uh, once I set all of my color points and my image is done, I can use the delay time and then uh, call the next image uh, that I want to display. So that's uh, pretty much all you need to do. I think it's a very compact program. It is very simple to um, add characters to a matrix by just using uh, decimal points. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video and you learned something new here. Share your content, um, subscribe and like if you like. And uh, see you later. Bye.